Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. This is the CamJam EduKit 3 Robotics Kit. It's a very low priced basic robotics kit that gives you all of the components you need to get started in robotics except for a chassis. But I decided it would be rather good fun to use the box for a chassis. So let's see how well that worked out. Let's try a little robot slum. This could be funny. Let's have a look inside. Essentially what I've done is I've made a hole in the sides of the box and put the axles of the wheels through. You've got a ball caster as well here so that just casters nicely on the front and the motors inside, let's open her up. So inside we've got a battery powering the Raspberry Pi. For debugging I've got a hub attached here. This is one of the um, Broadcom hubs, but in use I don't need that. This is just for debugging. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi Model A. This is the motor control board that comes with the kit. Um, this battery doesn't come with the kit, that's separate, as so is this lead. There's a battery box underneath that holds four AA batteries. The uh, battery box is part of the kit, but the batteries aren't. And you've also got two geared motors, they are part of the kit and I had to make a hole in the side of the box for that and, and I had to carve out some of the cardboard there as well. So I've also got a Bluetooth dongle here which ultimately will be plugged straight into that USB and I won't be using the hub when I've finished playing around with it. And I'm using a Wii controller with nunchuck to control the movement of the robot, the nunchuck gives a very nice level of control. That's not included in the kit either. Here's a photo of what is included in the kit, and you can get a listing of details of that either at the CamJam website or on the blog article that goes with this video. So now I'm going to switch on the motors and fire up the Pi. So when the red LED comes on, we press buttons 1 and 2, and it handshakes, and when the LED goes out, it's done the Bluetooth handshake. <coughs> and now we should be able to use the nunchuck to control the robot. Like this. And we'll sh you will, uh, I'll show you. What happens if we push it forward, as motors go forward, pull it backwards, motors go backwards, push it left and slightly forward, then the right motor goes forward, push it right and slightly forward, left motor goes forward, and then we achieve differential control. And it's really easy to control and works very well. I think it's a fabulous kit at an excellent price and congratulations to Jamie at the Pie Hut and Mike and Tim from Cam Jam for putting together such a very good value package. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.